I have been typically as much of a criticizer of Urban Meyer as anyone in the media. In fact, I bet if you asked Urban Meyer and his family what media member has attacked you the most over the last several years, over the last decade while he was at Florida, while he was at Ohio State I certainly have been a critic of Urban Meyer. That's because I frequently believe that Urban Meyer gets caught in lies. He tells a lie. He expects to be able to get away with it. It started at Florida when he was arguing we're only going to recruit the top 1% of 1% and then everybody consistently kept getting arrested. And he was always holier than thou. It continued at Ohio State. I have to say something that may shock many of you. I think Urban Meyer for the video that went viral from inside of a bar I think Urban Meyer is being attacked more aggressively than probably he deserves. Now look I'm not of the belief that Urban Meyer is a saint you guys all know that. But the NFL is filled with players and coaches who are not saints. Right? That's why the personal conduct policy exists. And what we often have a difficult time doing is distinguishing between things that happen which we may not like and things that happen that are criminal in nature. And very often we end up criticizing people heavily for things like what Urban Meyer did and meanwhile Deshaun Watson is eligible to play and I just want to frame this for you. Deshaun Watson is accused of sexually assaulting 24 different women. There is an ongoing criminal investigation across multi-states that is examining his behavior. There may well be a grand jury impaneled in Harris County in Houston in the near future. And not only is Deshaun Watson eligible to play many teams are talking about trading for him. That's despite the fact that 24 different women have accused him of either civil or criminal sexual assault. Meanwhile, Urban Meyer is in a bar a what appears to be good looking blonde comes up and grinds on him while he is sitting on a stool and everybody is out for blood for Urban Meyer. Now I want to break this down for you and I wrote about this some in the anonymous mailbag uh, but I would encourage you to, uh, to check it out. All right, In the grand scheme of things While everybody is focusing on Urban Meyer inside of this bar I think this illuminates one of the major issues associated with social media in our country today. And that flaw is this. No one's even talking about the girl. All right, The girl knows that Urban Meyer is married. She makes the decision to go up and grind on Urban Meyer in a public setting of her own volition. I don't know who the girl is. Everybody just completely forgets about her. All right, Second part of this. We live in an era where it's considered to be normal to pull out your phone and try to catch somebody misbehaving in an effort to film them without their consent and have something go viral. Now you can say Urban Meyer should be smarter and should be aware of this. I had conversations about this with everybody on the OutKick college tour. Hey, there's always going to be somebody with a camera in every bar that we're in in every restaurant that we're in presume that everything you do is going to end up on social media. This is something I've had to get used to as I'm a D or F list celebrity or whatever you want to call it. This is something that many different people out there uh, who are in the public eye have to get used to. Doesn't mean I think it's right. Okay? Uh, And then so whoever taped this has it go viral and then on top of that you have all these people who decide that they're going to tag Shelly Meyer Uh, Urban Meyer's wife or the Jacksonville Jaguars and some people are arguing Urban Meyer needs to be fired now over sitting on a bar stool and having a blonde girl grind on him. Where Urban Meyer's hands are I'm not even getting into that. I haven't Zabruder style examined all the films. I haven't looked at the Grassy Knoll video. I haven't analyzed it all from a variety of different perspectives. I'm just talking about in the grand scheme of things is what Urban Meyer did that bad relative to what most people Uh, consider to be serious misconduct in an NFL circumstance no, I don't think it is. Okay? Also the difference between how people behave on social media and in real life is massive. In a pre-internet cell phone era 
Nobody would have tracked down Shelly Meyer and nobody would have tracked down the Jacksonville Jaguars and said, you know what I saw Urban Meyer doing? He was getting grinded on by a good-looking girl and, uh, and, and it was really inappropriate and I think you should know about it. Yet thousands of people see this video and they immediately want to tag Urban Meyer's wife and the Jags. Now look, if I'm Urban Meyer's wife, Shelly, I'm sure that he got the business at home in a really negative way. I'm sure she let him have it over his behavior, right? And I'm sure because he's Urban Meyer rather than just tell the entire truth Urban has this tendency and he has throughout his entire career to tell part of the truth and lie, right? He tries to protect himself by only telling a part of the story instead of just telling everything and then he behaves holier than thou. But this idea that he could lose his job based on what we know now over this situation seems to me to be utterly insane and I say that as someone who is not a fan of Urban Meyer and has consistently criticized him. I think the criticism surrounding Urban Meyer right now is over the top relative to what the video showed him doing. If his wife is mad at him I understand it but the idea that somehow that video would make him not qualified to be an NFL head coach is crazy. Now if he were 4-0 instead of 0-4 I think people would be like oh look at Urban Meyer out there celebrating and this may be the flaw that Urban has not recognized yet at Florida and at Ohio State he won so often that people were willing to forgive his lies and all of the things that were going on off the field. The lesson that Urban Meyer has taken as a head coach is if you win everything else is secondary and so far that has been true. But now he's not winning and he may be lying and while I don't think this should be a major issue for Urban Meyer going forward I am not surprised that he is potentially obfuscating lying trying to skirt responsibility going forward. So I do think this is an overblown situation maybe that's the wrong phrase (laughs) but I don't think in the grand scheme of things that Urban Meyer's job should be in doubt here again the girl nobody I don't know who she is I'd be interested to know what her story is who filmed this why did they film it I kind of think that oftentimes what happens in a bar is everybody gets drunk and then this girl was like oh there's Urban Meyer I'm going to go grind on him why don't you film me while I go grind on him this will be really funny I hate Michigan I'm so glad he beat Ohio State I'll go grind on him we'll celebrate what happened here and was Urban Meyer drunk I think probably so Uh, which is why he was sitting on the stool and he's basically just not moving at all. I'd love to know the full story here Uh, and also see the larger context of the video because everybody judges the video based on the 30 seconds that we see and not the 20 minutes that might surround it on either side. Maybe Urban Meyer said, hey, I'm married, thanks but no thanks uh, and eventually turned away from her. We don't know. We only saw that small portion of the video. By the way you always have to assume that you're being videoed and that goes for everybody by the way. Everybody whether you're a famous person or not famous at all if you're in a public place now we've seen all these videos going viral I think you have to presume that whatever you are doing is going to go public. I tell my guys all the time my girls the people who work at OutKick my own kids hey gotta keep your head on a swivel and assume that you are being filmed any public place where you are on a day-to-day basis.